morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Mr. Morning. Good morning, Mr. 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 Good morning, Mr.
all agree with that piece of paper activity that they're equivalent? They represent the same fraction? Okay, what can I multiply 1 with to get 2? 2. Are we all happy with that? Yes. So I multiply the numerator of this fraction or multiply the top of this fraction by 2. 2 times what is 4? Isn't it 2 as well? Yes. Can you see I've multiplied both top and bottom by the same number? When you do that to a fraction, when you multiply the top and bottom of a fraction by the same number, you get another fraction that is equivalent. Represents the same fraction, just with bigger numbers. Happy with that? Let's check. Let's now take these two. What's two times what is four? Four times what is eight? Two. Have we done the same thing to top and bottom? Yeah. yeah. Let's take the first and last now. One times? Four. four is four. And two times? Four, four is eight. Right? Yeah. Now, do we always have to multiply to get equivalent fractions? Yeah. Raising hands. Do we always have to multiply? What else can we do? Divide. Divide. Excellent. We can also divide both top and bottom by the same number to get another equivalent fraction. Please stop doing that and focus. Thank you. Let's see this. Let's see if we have to go from four eighths to a half. They are equivalent, aren't they? Four divided by what is one? Four. And isn't eight divided by four two? As long as you're multiplying both top and bottom by the same number, or you're dividing both top and by the same number, you get a fraction that is equivalent to the first one. Happy with that? Now, we can use this to find missing numbers. I said everything down and focus. Now, so you have to find the missing number. You know that 1 sixth is equal to something over 30. So you think, okay, the equivalent. What has been multiplied or divided by 6 to get 30? We know that 6 times 5 is 30. So we have multiplied the bottom by 5. What must we do to the top? Same thing, times by 5. So what would 1 times 5 be? That's it, equivalent fraction. Happy? Now, let's say we have... Now, 14 over 21, from 21 we got a 3. Have we divided 21 by something or multiplied? Divided. divided. It's getting smaller. Is 21 divided by 7, 3? Yes. What must we do to the top? Well done. Same to the top. 14 divided by 7 is? 2. That's it. Equivalent fractions. We proved it that they're equivalent with that paper folding activity and then we've used it to find the missing numbers in equivalent fractions. Any questions? Great, get on with your work.